Information tonight in the case against a Scarsdale man accused of stabbing his wife to death as she took a shower. Court documents show within a few hours of the murder, the alleged killer told the police he was grieving, but he was also in a joking mood. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the latest on this. Julius Reich and Robin Goldman in the middle of a divorce when she was stabbed to death. New court documents provide some insight into the words and actions of Reich. His 911 call brought Scarsdale police to their mansion on Lincoln Road, where they found a bloody knife hidden inside a folded newspaper. Reich told the responding officers it was probably a homicide. And later, I would like to take some of my prescription medication for anxiety. Reich also asked if he'd be able to join mourners at Goldman's funeral. While at police headquarters, Reich asked a cop, what do you think of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? And awkwardly joked with another officer, you're not my boyfriend, you know. Former homicide prosecutor Troy Smith says the prosecution case looks strong and an insanity defense is a possibility. That he has this affirmative defense of a lack of mental responsibility, essentially that he didn't understand right from wrong. The documents also detail police interest in the apartment Reich had been living in on East 65th Street. When police applied for a search warrant, they told the judge they were particularly interested in any knives made by the same company that manufactured the murder weapon, raising the possibility that Reich took a knife to Scarsdale from his apartment on the Upper East Side. We could learn more about the defense strategy when Reich returns to court Wednesday. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.